Hello friends. Okay, so last year I filmed um, my everyday makeup tutorial and just a couple days ago I rewatched it. That was not my best work y'all. So today I'm going to be refilming my everyday makeup. This look here. So if y'all are interested in what products I use or how exactly I do my makeup, keep watching and you'll find out. Just to kind of take you from the beginning, I've just washed and exfoliated my face. Um, I have a little bit of moisturizer on and my first step would be to, I've actually been skipping primer lately, um, but if y'all want a good one, I'm a really big fan of the Bare, this is so gross, but the <laughs> Bare Minerals Prime Time. Um, I love it because it has SPF in it. This one's just a little bit darker for me. This is the one I've been using in the summer. This is in the shade tan, I, uh, yeah, tan. So this one's just a little bit too dark for my skin right now. Um, or I also really liked the Cooling Matte Too Faced Primed and Peachy Primer. Um, it feels really good on your skin and I like the way that it goes on and it smells really good too. So these two are my primers if y'all are looking for one, but I've just been skipping it lately. so gonna skip it again today I'm just moving right into foundation um, my love for this foundation is beyond y'all I will stand by this through the end of time because I'm so obsessed with it and I've never like I've never felt this way about a foundation before but this one is my bulletproof go-to will forever love it um, I'm using the bare minerals bare pro liquid foundation it's a performance long wear so literally it does not budge all day long which is awesome um, and it's non comedogenic so it's pretty good for your skin they say that it's so good you can sleep in it that's kind of their mo for this but honestly I have never had any issues I do have sensitive combo skin um, you guys can read all about my acne and skincare journey um, in one of my blog posts I'll link it uh, for you guys in this post but um, with someone who has struggled with acne and sensitive skin before um, finding a foundation that is one gonna give you the coverage that you need be good for your skin um, is super important to me so this one is my go-to I just use a couple pumps on the back of my hand here uh, with this foundation um, you have to work a little bit quickly um, because it is pretty matte and so it dries fast which is awesome because then you can just move right into your next steps but I have found that it works best if you swipe down so I know it's a little weird but I'm just using a big stifling 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 brush to swipe down and a little bit goes a long way with this foundation so you can really get a good amount of coverage with just a couple pumps For concealer, I'm using the Smashbox Studio Skin 24-hour um, concealer. I love this stuff just because it really doesn't crease, um, and I've just had good luck with it. So I'm using the shade Fair Light Neutral. So always look for a concealer, obviously, and one to two shades lighter than your own skin. Since I do have a couple of blemishes that I want to cover up, I'm gonna just take my wand and just do a couple. And then I like to highlight under my eyes just a little bit just to make them pop a little bit more. So once you've worked in all of the concealer, I'll come back in with a setting powder. Um, usually I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but right now I am trying the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores. So far so good, but I mean, I'm such a fan of the translucent setting powder from Laura Mercier. I don't know if there will be ever anything that will compare to it, but I do like this. Price point wise, they're in a very similar ballpark. So I think this was just what they had. So I grabbed it, but I'm just going to take, um, a big fluffy brush and apply setting powder all over my face just because um, whenever I apply bronzer um, in my next steps I really just don't want any of the powders to stick to my skin uh, plus this really just helps make your makeup look last a little bit longer and really just kind of smooths out all of your pores and anything like that 
So once you've worked in and just applied setting powder all over your face, I'll move into the bronzer steps, which I seriously need right now because I look like a ghost. Um, I have a few favorite bronzers that I do use. Um, one of them is the Faux Tan from, uh, this is like the powder or the, uh, yeah, the loose powder version of Bare Minerals bronzer that I really love. This gives you a really natural color. Uh, I'll use this just to kind of give myself a little bit of color when I'm not wearing any makeup or going for a no makeup makeup look. Um, but today, um, I'm just going to use the Stila um, Stay All Day Bronzer in the shade Dark. I love this stuff. I've like worn it out, you can see it. But I'm just gonna take another bronzer brush and apply this to my cheekbones and pretty much all over my face. Once I'm done bronzing all over my face and I've added a little bit underneath my cheekbones just to kind of contour a little bit more, um, I'll come in with some blush for the apples of my cheeks. Um, I am using the Bobbi Brown Pretty in Pink and then just another blush brush from, this is the Eco Tools one and I really like it. And I'll just apply a little bit. And as you can see, this one gives you like a nice highlighter pink color. Now I'm going to go in with some highlighter just to give myself a nice glow. Um, right now I'm using the Stila highlighter and then this is in the shade Luminescence. I love this stuff. And I'm just going to take a highlighter brush and go underneath my eyes on the tops of my cheeks. On my nose. A little bit on my forehead. Now I'm moving on to my eyes. I have a couple palettes that I am obsessed with. The Anastasia Modern Rena Renaissance and then the Tartlet uh, Tarte Palette. And then this is the Amazonian Clay Matte Palette, which I love. For an everyday look, I usually do go with a matte shadow. Um, I love this one. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty much these four shades in here. Actually, this whole section. This whole section I love for just like a matte everyday base. Um, I'll usually come in with this color here. It's the Free Spirit or Super Mom and apply this all over the base of my lid. Since it is actually fall, um, what I'm going to do is take my modern, my modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use, add a little bit of this color called Raw Sienna and Burnt Orange just to warm up my eyes a little bit. And so this is still nice for an everyday um, makeup look, but I just like the warmth that it adds, especially during the cooler months. So continuing with my eyes, I'm going to take a little bit of eyeliner. Um, I actually don't wear too much. I do like to add a little bit of a wing or a cat eye, but um, as far as actually lining my eyes, I don't go too heavy just because I don't want my eyes to look smaller. I'm just wanting to highlight them a little bit more and make them pop. So right now I'm using the Tarte Man Eater um, Liquid Eyeliner in black. And I'll just take a little bit of this and go underneath my eyelid sort of like on that lash line, and then come out a little bit with a wing. Okay, so as you guys can see, I really just went with a very thin cat eye, and then I really just took a little bit of eyeliner along my lash line here, to move into the mascara that I'm loving lately is the Damn Girl from Too Faced. I love this. It has a really nice fluffy applicator and it's supposed to be like a 24 hour mascara which is sort of what I was looking for because I kept running into the issue of having um, mascara streaks like on my upper brow. I've tried using um, an eyelid primer, everything, and it just 
kept happening. Um, then I went with lash extensions for a long time and I love them. The upkeep was just sort of annoying to me. So um, this is a good alternative for someone that wants a full um, mascara that gives you a lot of volume and length and stays all stays on all day and just really doesn't budge. So the Damn Girl Mascara from Too Faced is my go-to lately. Okay, so that's pretty much everything that I do with my eyes, my mascara, everything like that. I recently got my eyebrows microbladed. I did back in February. So you can see they're so much more defined um, than my last uh, tutorial, but I really do love how they turned out. Honestly, it was probably the best investment I ever made into my uh, beauty routine just because it saved so much time and then made me feel a little bit more confident, especially without makeup. So I still fill them in. It's just not as much or time consuming as it typically would without having um, done the microblading, but I'm so, so glad I did it. Um, I do have a post about that, so I'll link that down below as well in case you guys want to read a little bit more about it and you know see where I went and the whole experience with that. Um, but for my brows, um, I am a huge fan of really any Anastasia products, period. But I'm in love, in love, in love with the um, Dip Brow. It just comes in like a little container like this. And I have found that it works better and it's easier to apply and makes the application just look a little bit more natural when you wet your brush. So I like to just get it a little bit wet and then just sort of work it around into the pomade. Um, another alternative, if you don't wanna do the dip brow, um, I love the Brow Wiz and this will forever be a staple in my makeup bag, but I do keep this in handy whenever I am doing my eyebrows because I like to use the wand to brush my eyebrow hair up before I fill them in. Get my angled brush wet and take the dip brow and then I like to start at the front of my brow and then work down to the tail. So moving on to the final phase of my makeup routine, I don't feel like a makeup look is really complete without a nice pop of color on your lips, whether that's a nude or just really defining your lips, period. So my recent favorite is the Maybelline ink pen. Um, I am obsessed with these. This one is in the shade Enjoy the View. Um, I'll link it below, but I cannot say enough good things about these. Plus they're under $10, so I have them in literally like almost every shade. I cannot get enough, but I love this color specifically just because I feel like it's a really good everyday lip. Um, and it stays on really well. It's moisturizing, but also matte, so it doesn't really dry out your lips. And again, it stays on pretty much all day, but as it wears off, it still looks very natural. So I'm just gonna finish my makeup look with this lip color here. Okay guys, so that is pretty much it for my everyday makeup look or enhanced um, everyday makeup look, especially for the fall. It's warm, it's still peachy. Um, you can, you know, definitely tone it down a little bit or just kind of add on to it for an event, wedding, anything like that. So this is what I do pretty much every day. Um, if you have questions about the products or um, application, anything like that, feel free to message me. Um, and if you do try out this uh, makeup look or any of the products, tag me on Instagram. I wanna see what you guys come up with and if you guys can recreate it.